mission of the uh, Gene and Cell Therapy Program at the Herman B. Wells Center for Pediatric Research is to provide the basic science and technology development for more efficacious, less immunogenic, and safer gene therapies for hemophilia and other genetic disorders. The Herman B. Wells Center for Pediatric Research provides an outstanding research environment for us. There is uh, substantial support from the Riley Children's Foundation. We have collaborations with the hematologists at the Riley Children's Hospital and all the many uh, resources that are available to us right here that make our work better and directly relevant for treating human patients. Conventional therapies for hemophilia uh, require repeated injections of medications that uh, have to be given lifelong, uh, some of them as frequently as three times per week. The advantage of gene therapy is that a single drug administration could correct the bleeding disorder for many years, and our dream is maybe even for a lifetime. But development of a gene therapy is actually quite complex. It requires multiple disciplines to come together. So we need to have an interdisciplinary approach to successfully treat diseases like hemophilia through gene therapy. Roland and I have known each other for a long time and we were postdocs at the University of Pennsylvania at the same time. Wei Dong Xiao's uh, laboratory's expertise was really the missing ingredient uh, to make our gene and cell therapy program complete because he adds a unique expertise in vector development and also manufacturing of these gene medicines. I think this is a comprehensive research program and it includes every aspect of gene therapy. Roland works on the immunology of gene therapy and I work on AV vectors. By working together here, we will be able to expand the capability of AV vectors. We will cure more disease uh, in the future and we can make AV vector more efficient. Problems facing the field of gene therapy today are multifaceted. So with just one kind of expertise, you won't be able to properly address and solve problems. You need different specialties to come together, people specialized in, in molecular biology, cell biology, virology, and you really have to understand um, hemostasis well enough to make meaningful progress. Our program is very interactive. Uh, we collaborate with a number of other laboratories around the United States and even outside the United States which makes our program much more successful in that we can draw the brightest minds in the field, helping us develop these better therapies. In our laboratory, uh, we harness the incredible suppressive capacity of these T-Regs by rendering them specific only for clotting factors by a process called receptor engineering. This is a form of uh, precision therapy or tailored therapy. No one lab can do it all. My collaborations with uh, diverse interdisciplinary areas, such as uh, bioengineering, has resulted in important impacts to my research, uh, which helps us answer uh, bigger questions. The other investigators in the group, such as Roland Herzog and uh, Juan or Abiswas, they're, they're working on kind of parallel uh, processes to induce immune tolerance. We're focusing on taking advantage of uh, natural mechanisms uh, within uh, the liver where you can express a, a protein uh, using a variety of tools such as an adeno-associated virus. I think with any type of treatment, you're not going to have a one therapy fits all approach. So I think we're all kind of driving different roads leading to the same you know, destination and that we could converge and you know, find you know, unique combinations of different therapies. This lab has a great legacy. Um, you know, Roland's work 20 years ago basically laid a foundation for the first clinical trials in gene therapy. And since then, we've learned a lot and this lab still remains uh, at the very for forefront of, of that progress. Our program distinguishes itself through not only an interdisciplinary, but a very comprehensive approach to developing new therapies for hemophilia, ranging from gene therapy to immunotherapy 
to how to treat the disease in a way that will hopefully result in a cure that will benefit patients with hemophilia around the world.